So now I'm going to check the headspace on this barrel with the JP bolt. I put it in, rotate it so it locks behind those lugs, and as I wiggle it a little bit, you can see there's a little bit of play, and that should be taken out as soon as a round is chambered. And these are my 6.5 Creedmoor Go No-Go gauges. The Go gauge is the one with the green stripe, and the No-Go gauge is the one with the red stripe. Pretty obvious. I'm going to take the Go gauge first, and I'm going to put it in the bolt just like a round would be sitting in a bolt when it's chambered and extracted. I'm going to put the rim underneath the extractor, and then I'm going to push to get it straight. And then I'm going to put it into the barrel extension and chamber. Once I push it down in there, I'll rotate the bolt, just like the cam would. And as you can see, the bolt locks in place properly. So I'll rotate it back and take it out. Now I'm going to do the same for the no-go gauge. Now with the no-go gauge, I'm going to put it in just like the go gauge, right? But with this one, with, with the gauge fully inserted like a round would be, I should not be able to lock the lugs of the bolt. And no matter how hard I try to turn it, the bolt will not rotate and lock. So that means we're good to go with this barrel.